Hey everybody, this is Ryan the Geeky Veep. I'm going to show you another great Excel add-in. This one is free. It is an add-in that provides you with tons of economic data. It comes to you from the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis um, and it's called the FRED add-in. So if you want to get this just go out and Google FRED add-in and it will basically just take you right to this website. Um, again, it's called the FRED add-in. You want to download it, add it to your Excel, um, and then let me show you real quickly what you can do with that. All right, so here we have the ribbon. It's pretty simple. Um, it starts here with get Fred, Fred data, but in order to get this to work, you actually have to put a code in up here, um, whether it's GDP, um, unemployment rate, things like that. And then each month, you can update that data that you have here. But uh, you can start by entering the code. But if you don't know the code, here's where you would go to browse for popular US data. So you click on this. There's five basic categories, national income and expenditure. So you're looking at stuff like GDP, um, real income, things like that, uh, population, employment, and labor markets. So this is a great place to see uh, payrolls, unemployment rate, uh, things like that, uh, production and business activity. So there's some good things here. I know a lot of people like to look at industrial production, uh, housing starts, we got prices, consumer price index, of course CPI, and then finally money, banking, and finance. This is where you're going to find a lot of your rates, like the Fed funds rate, uh, the five-year treasury rate, things like that, whatever you're using to benchmark uh, some of your rates against. So a lot of good information in here. So the first thing you'd want to do is, um, you know, find something that um, is really important to you. So let's start off with uh, real GDP right here. We'll click on that. And once I click on that, it automatically puts the code over there. So if I knew what that code was, I could actually just type that in and start from scratch there. Uh, but now that the code is in here, I come up, I press get for a data. Okay, and now it populates. So for the GDP, it goes back as far as 1947. And you can see the value. Um, let me scroll down real quick so you can see. Um, it goes down as far as uh, for, uh, April of 2017, so the end of the first quarter. So that's the beginning part. You know, you, you have all your information here. This is great. But um, a couple of different codes here. This right here, this determines um, what type of value I'm presenting here. So right now I'm putting the like the absolute value. And I'll show you where you can change that. That comes from data manipulations. So LIN, that's what we see over there. Um, there's no transformation. But then you can also do changes. So a lot of us like to look at GDP uh, maybe as a percentage change from a year ago or a percentage change. Let's do percentage change from a year ago. If I click on that, let me pull this box over here. Then it'll ask you what series you want to apply this change to. Because I might have a lot of different metrics that I'm, I'm looking at here at the top. For this sheet, though, I've only got GDP. So select that. Press Make Changes. Okay, so now I changed it to PC1, which stands for Percentage of Change. Now, I already got the data. I want to update that data. So I'll click here. And if you look back down here, it changed. Now we've got percentage change. This is pretty cool stuff. But I don't care about seeing this every quarter, maybe. Maybe I want to see it on an annual basis. Uh, right now, it's got Q here for quarterly. Now I would go to the frequency aggregation, go down to annual. Again, select the series I want to apply this to. Click make the change. And then click update data. And as you can see, I go from 1948, 1949, 1950, it's on an annual basis. So you can choose how you, um, you know, the, the type of value, the aggregation, how the frequency, um, and then finally you can also build a graph. Just like that, it charted everything that I had, all that information I had, and that's pretty cool. So again, you know, it's a great add-in, it's free. Um, this economic data is right at your fingertips. I think you'll really like it, especially if you're in a finance field. Um, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video and we'll see you the next time.